What is going on everybody man? King Recon here and it is finally time to sit in this chair and read the latest installment in the Wano Awesome Sauce of the best selling manga in history. We are here to read chapter 1006 of what is about to be the second best-selling comic of all time. We are here, ladies and gentlemen, to read the one, the only, One Piece. Bro, I'm hyped, man. I'm hyped because this stretch in the 1000s has been so much fun. The last chapter left such an amazing taste in my mouth with all the awesome sauce taking place with our beloved Straw Hats, that Black Maria Yakuza tattoo greatness. Like, come on. And so, man, I was like, dude, the moment we sit down to read the next chapter, it's going to be legendary and it's going to be amazing. But before we get into the chapter, before we get, in, we get into whatever it is that this is about to Give to us, man. I just want to let y'all know something, man. Something really, really special. Yeah, just in case you, if you don't follow me on either Twitter or, or not in the Discord, I wanted to uh, make sure to let everybody know just in case because I'm not sure how it's going to affect the channel. I don't think it's going to affect it that much because I had already done something like this before. But now with everything being purely online and and stuff like that, it's going to be it's 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 going to be a change and it's going to be a difference. But I don't expect it to change to anything on the channel like at all but i just want to let y'all know just in case because man dude i finally am in there man i'm in there like swimwear i'm finally going back to class man i'm finally going back to school to further my education but this time for english and literature so that i can progress forward in my dreams and aspirations and what i truly want to do man and whenever my residency was finally accepted and and I saw the thing that said, yo, you're starting. Like, it's just, I was overwhelmed with so much emotion, both in terms of excitement and nerves. You know, when you have those butterflies that they just completely take over and you're like, man, a new journey is about to begin. And, uh, and it's been something that the insane amount of support that I've seen both online and then from my own family members and friends, it's been absolutely incredible, bro. And and like I said, I'm super, super nervous for this new start and this new journey. But I'm also couldn't be more excited, man. And so I just wanted to let everybody know, just in case one week here on the channel, uh, a chapter reaction is late. That's more than likely why, because I'm still not sure how the how my new schedule is going to go when it comes to, to balancing that and everything else. And so I'm not sure, but I'm excited for it nonetheless, man. It's going to be great. And I just want to share this panel with you all because... It's never, it's never lied once. This panel has never lied once, man. When Oda drew this panel, he drew this with the intent of it being 100% factual. Ladies and gentlemen, people's dreams don't ever end, man. And so, with that being said, let's get right into this week's chapter of the best-selling manga in history. Bro, look at that. Look at the Ippo shirt, bro. You see my boy? Yo, I forgot I had this shirt. I was looking through my closet and I was like, man, dude, because there was a couple of uh, clothes that I bought specifically for, for whenever the pandemic ends and I'm able to go out. I was like, yeah, I got these new clothes, but able to go in. And I completely forgot I had this shirt. I was like, hold on, man. I, 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 it, this thing's probably not going to end for a while. I'm putting on this Ippo shirt. I am putting on this Ippo. Just look at it. Look at your boy. Do, do, do. If you read or watch Hajime no Ippo, they just recently put it on Crunchyroll, the first season. Get on that greatness if you have not, man. One of the best sports series out there. Shout out to the greatness of George Morikawa's boxing awesome sauce. But let's get right into the chapter, man. Chapter 1006. And we start off with a cover. A cover. A cover page of Weekly Shonen Jump with Luffy, Law, and Kid. Bro. This is sick! Kid, Law, and the King. The strong, the strong stand side by side, striking a defiant pose. And then One Piece has this really nice font right here with the stroke, with like a really nice red stroke around it as well. The incredible third act of the Wano arc. The battle against the Beast Pirates is nearing its climax. Nearing its climax, ladies and gentlemen. But yo, they never lied. 
Shonen Jump, you know, they usually say a whole bunch of, of things on, on these covers in order to like grab your attention and whatnot, but this is a shoot. The incredible third act of the Wano arc. This third act, from the moment that the third act started until now, it's been nothing but straight fire. It has been, I mean, the entire Wano arc has been nothing but straight fire. But the third act in particular has just taken it to levels where I'm just like, I still can't believe it. Sometimes I go on here and I still can't believe that this stuff is actually canon. That's how amazing it's been. And so, yeah, man, what an awesome, I gotta save this. After, after I record this, I gotta go back and save this picture. This looks incredible. The big three right here of the, of the worst generation captains. And the, <laughs> what is this? What in the flying flag Mars is this? Yo, you have the Toby Robo and the Calamities. Yo, look at Black Buddy and look at Sick Ulti. Sasaki, bro, my boy X Drake looking down. He's like, yeah, we're determined. Queen's out here. Gun cocked and loaded. Jack King, page one, who's who. And then Hyakuju no Kaido, man. Yo, this, no, I gotta save this right now, man. <laughs> this, this is something that's gotta be saved ASAP. Yo, this man drew the entire opposing force in this color page. I was, so that's why he drew the monster, the monster trio of the worst generation in, uh, on the cover. Because then he was able to, to showcase, uh, Kaido's crew here. And the color spread. That's awesome. The battle is nearing its climax. The action-packed third act of Wano, a daring color spread. Volume 98. The climax, the, the climax of the battle of Onigashima. The climax of the battle on Onigashima is near, son. Yo, let's flip and go. This, this is amazing. This is genuinely an amazing color spread. I love it. I love it so much. If I could, I would, I could, you know, get this print it out, put on a plaque, and just be like, it's a moment in time. Bam! The Toby Robo and the Calamities. Let's get into the chapter. Lie Floor Skulldome. I'm going to see the Legend of Zelda. He got away! The Honorable Hyogoro the Fl A Hyogoro chapter! Get out of here! So now we're going to continue the theme of the Yakuza with last week's chapter with a tattoo and Black Maria just go straight up, yeah! You know, in, 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 in great theme, I guess, because Yakuza 7, I really, I need to get that game, man. Uh, it just recently came out on the, on the PS5. I need, I need to flip and get that one of these days. But it continuing that theme of like, yeah, man, let's go ahead and, and take this straight up Yakuza style, Dragon of Dojima style, tattoo. You know, we're about to have an amazing battle down there with Robin and Brooke versus Black Maria. Straight up a greatness. And then we're following that up with Hyogoro the Flower, the boss. The Yakuza boss of Wano. Yo, this man, I, I, don't, I don't know what Oda's got going on. Maybe he's playing the Yakuza games right now. But son, this is, uh, I'm loving it. The enemy leader Momonosuke was seen escaping. And she looks down upon this entire field. And we get to see just a whole bunch of chaos ensuing down there on the bottom. And we get to see Yamato! It's always great. And within Yamato... <laughs> It's Momonosuke. <laughs> My boy's still chilling in there, dog. From the Forbidden Storeroom, we've lost sight of him now. But there's no mistake. Yo, Yamato flattened this dude. Yamato did that this dude what Super Mario would do to the Goombas. You know what I mean? Like, bro, straight up, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo on his head. It's like Yamato did it with a club. Talo. Straight up splitting this man's brain in half. Momonosuke has fled with young master Yamato and the Kunoichi. There he is, Le leader of Wano Samurai Army Momonosuke. So they were able to locate Momonosuke through some sort of x-ray thing. I mean, well, granted they are, they are these cyborg-like robotic creatures. I, I was like, well, how in the world are they doing this? What kind of observation hockey is this? But no, he's just got um some sort of x-ray heartbeat sensor uh, thing going on here. He's playing Warzone, beep, beep. What a fascinating panel. Is, so that's where Momonosuke is. <laughs> Leader of Wano Samurai Army, man. Yo, look at, look at him. Look at his face, yo. This man is living the dream. Momonosuke is living the dream, son. Look at him. That's the face of a person who is truly the leader of our army, son. 
Shinobu, <laughs> Shinobu over here. Isn't there a less conspicuous way? And Shinobu's like, sweet mother of Flagnards, is there any, any, any way that we could possibly go 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 out go about this in just a wee bit more silent? You know, just a little more silent, man. We're literally clubbing every single individual out of here. Like, there, there is no secrecy to this. Sanji, he's with the Kunoichi. Castle interior, third floor. Another transmission? They're after Momo and Shinobu, and who's young master Yamato? Oh, I can't wait to see Sanji's reaction to Yamato, man. That is going to be extremely exciting. Hey, which way's the Forbidden Storeroom? It's it's near the entrance of the Skull Dome. Kinemon and the others are in the opposite direction, so we see Castle Tower, Dome Entrance. And that's where Sanji's going to be headed. Let's go, man. We're going to get to the greatest. Where am I needed more? And he's like, yo, who's, who needs me more? Is it going to be going with Momo and Shinobu and Yamato? Or is it going to be with Kinemon and, and the others in the opposite direction? Or could he do both? With Sanji's speed, he definitely could do both. Let's see Let's see what decision he makes. Ah, and then Oda intentionally leaves it out by saying here, but we don't see exactly where he goes. Classic Oda. And here we get to see Onigashima from a distance. And we see this massive floating rock. The island with the skull... One half of the horn still there, and the other half of the horn cut off by our beloved Master Swordsman, by our beloved Hororonoa Zoro, by the greatness of the man who went in to do a single strike, and Big Mom was like, "Son, Kaido, dodge!" Like yo, you know, you know, when you're playing a, a, a multiplayer game, like, it doesn't matter what game you're playing, man. It could be Call of Duty, it could be League, it could be Counter Strike. Over, I don't, I don't matter, bro. If you're playing with multiple individuals, right, and so you see somebody with a sniper on their head or whatever the case may be, you see so, one of your, one of your people is about to get smacked. You're like, hey man, we go watch out. He's coming in from over there. The person coming in from over here. Whatever you're doing, a call out. You're doing a call out. That means that you are in fear of that person getting pwned. Big Mom did a call out, son. Like it was just in the middle of a war zone match. Dude's got a sniper on Kaido's head. <laughs> and yo, Big Mom's like, Kaido! What do we got going on? The bounties on you! Yo, Kaido! Big Mom told Kaido, son, listen to me. If you don't dodge this, it's gonna. <laughs> Yo, the horn, man, the remnants of Zoro's flash is flying in the sky, bro. And I love how we don't get to see anything, like, close to it. You know, we the only thing we really get to see is, like, the smoke surrounding it and the clouds around it. But, man, yeah, you already know he's going to tease us on this hybrid form for a little while longer. Entrance, Onigashima. And we see explosions. Pero, hospital. Oof, oof. Cuckoo, Perorin. That was a close call. Warriors of the full moon, indeed. You lost to me simply because the weather wasn't in your favor. He beat Carrot and Wanda? He did. Look at Carrot. Yo, Pet Hospital's nothing to play with. At the entrance to Onigashima, this man, because yo, last time, last time we saw them, I think that was chapter 997. The last time that we saw this taking place, Carrie and Wanda were looking beast. Both in so long state, and they caught up Peros, but I was like, yo, they're about to catch this though. But no. Peros, but definitely injured, but won the battle. You lost to me simply because the weather wasn't in your favor. And we see a, a defeated carrot here on the bottom. Yo, that's. That's honestly shocking to me, man. Like, it really, really is, dude. I could have sworn that at the time, Carrot was about to catch a massive dub here. Maybe she still will. Maybe she still will. I mean, technically, it's still not over. But, yo, she definitely looks defeated here on the bottom, man. Let's go to the next page. And she thinks back to Pedro. Listen, you got it. Must keep moving forward. You could talk about avenging Pedro, but did you really expect to get a free pass? After trespassing in our territory and Pedospero, man. 
in classic heel fashion, not only brings up what their goal is, like what Carrot's goal. Carrot's goal, of course, is to avenge Pedro here, knowing what took place between Pedro and Pedal Spittle back in chapter 877 and 878 of uh, in Whole Cake Island. But then he also went to step and was like, listen, man, I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do, but you got to realize, did you really expect to do it so easily when trespassing in our territory, where we, where we reside, where our people are? Did you really expect to be able to do such a thing for a second time after you did so in Whole Cake? Grabbing her face and everything. Look at Carrot's determination, man. And then he tosses Carrot onto the ground. If you don't want to mourn any more of your friends, hop back to the woods and chew on some grass. My God, Pedospital. You're more suited to something like that, Perorin. All right, man, this man is cutting a promo, a de definitely a heel promo. Now then, I'm still against allying with the Beast Pirates, but we must teach these upstarts what it means to be an emperor. And he does this while swinging around his candy stick. His carrot is still on the ground, and we switch over to something else, bro. Yo, I'm genuinely shocked here, bro. Like I said, the last time that we saw these individuals, I, I thought carrot was going to go so ham that it was the next thing that we, we, we went back, we were probably going to see the final blow, and that was going to be that. But no, it's not going to be that easy, man. Man, dude. The trash talking, I mean, really hitting right into the heart of why Kara's trying to do this. And he pushes her onto the ground, pushes her face up against the ground. Turns back and is like, yo, I hate allying with these dudes. But we got to teach these young upstarts what it means to be an emperor. Flagnards. Life floor Skoldome. And now we're back to the individuals from Wano. This is hopeless. These blue flames help, but we have stamina, but we're at our limit. You must endure it or you'll turn back into an ice demon. If that happens, you won't be able to stop rampaging and you'll definitely die of, exhaust of exhaustion this time. Keep yourself together. Yes, sir. And here we have Chopper who's doing everything he possibly can in order to keep everyone here. Remember, Tanuki-san is working on a cure while, perversing, while preserving himself. Apu-san, we can't keep this up. And we have Apu still somehow breathing, even after all of the... Uh, after, I mean, honestly, this is a testament to Apu. Because Apu, throughout the beginning of this arc... Has already been in two different altercations with Luffy and Zoro, and then the second time with Zoro, uh, absolutely getting demolished. So the fact that this man is still up just tells me this man's this man's durability is nothing to be messed with, bro. In terms of listen, Apu's like, yo, I'm a member of the worst generation, man. You just ain't gonna take me on in one hit. And that's gonna be that. Like, yo, I, you gotta put some respect in my name. Ah, bah, 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 bah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you gotta put some respect in my name, man. Now, while they stand between us and the cure. They're like a steel wall we can't get through. Why did Queen Sama expose us to the virus anyway? Save your whimpering. He won't be moved by it. Why would you switch sides extra? <laughs> Yo, this battle is sick! You see X Drake and Hyogoro up together fighting side by side. Classic OG huge Hyogoro from the flashback right next to X Drake. Yo, this battle's sick. Why is Wano's legendary Yakuza, Yakuza boss suddenly here? He's too strong. We can't get anywhere near the Tanuki. Yo, y'all are messing with the dude, bro. Y'all are messing with two. With two individuals who are extremely capable uh, by themselves. But the fact that they're working together, you have a... Bro yeah, a member of S.W.O.R.D., the former Rear Admiral, a member of the Toby Ropo in x Drake. The Supernova, the T-Rex, son. Going up in. And then right next to him, the former Yakuza boss respected by every single person in Wano. Yogo, oh, the flower, son. Yo, give me a sec. It looks like my computer can barely handle my greatness. It does not want to load the next thing. Let me see. I think I, I think I got it. My observation hockey's clicking. Come on, yo, this panel is sick. Well, well, well the next thing loads. I gotta, I gotta just look at this panel here for a little bit longer. And then here in the bottom, you can see some, some bodies. Dude, they are going in. You can already tell with this type of tag team going in. I mean, it's going to be really tough to be, there it is. There it is. Let's get, yep. See, something was happening, man. My computer could barely handle the greatness 
that was taking place here. Now, now we're back to normal levels. Now everything's loading. All right, cool. So Hyogoro next year going up in like summer. What's with, what's with that physique? He was a shriveled geezer just a second ago. Now he's as formidable as he was when Kaido was trying to recruit him. So is it a situation where he can choose to enter this uh, this state here? Or was it like, um, because I'm trying to think about like something else that I can compare this to. Like somebody who was like shriveled up or whatever. And then like, I, like the closest thing I, I can I can think of is, um, I guess a Yu Yu Hakusho spoiler. But uh, for Genkai, right? Whenever Genkai was able to um, go between her her, her normal looking self and then transitioning into looking uh, much younger and whatnot and something like that right so maybe that that might be what Hyogoro is doing here uh you know using every single bit of real hockey or whatever it is that's inside of him in, in order to bring himself back to the strength that he once had and once attained either that or maybe he trained for this entire thing while he was training alongside luffy and um and thanks to eating as much as he was able to eat he was uh, freely able to transform into the state i'm, I'm not entirely sure uh, but it's still really cool to see him in this form. Are these shivers from excitement? Boss, are you okay? It may have gotten a little chilly, but I pride myself on my fortitude. Being exposed to the virus may have brought me to the brink of death, but it also seems to have drawn out my dormant strength. So that's what happened here, man. When humans are taken to the absolute brink, where they're almost at near death, that's when you'll truly see uh, where things will surpass expectations and when where you're dormant like you said you're you the strength that was once uh, laid dormant i forgot what the exact like line was stated by the narrator in in in, in dbz whenever gohan transformed um like the strength that was always there finally came out into, into fruition thanks to being at the brink of death whatever whatever, whatever those words said that's pretty much being said here in other words i gained this power in exchange for my remaining life force i'll use it to cut down the enemy's main forces <laughs> So not only that, not only did this was this man able to attain this form um, here in the brink of death, it's also a state that he was able to attain by s sacrificing his remaining life force. So this is going to be Hyogoro's last stand here, man. He's ensuring that he goes up in like Sumor in this fight no matter the cost. And he's going to... Excuse me, he's going to use it to cut down the enemy's main force. This man, Hyogoro the Flower Greatness, bro. Listen, my fellow Yakuza bosses. Yes, great boss. I don't have much time left. If nuki san doesn't make it, and I'm on the cusp of turning into an ice demon, you must end my life without hesitation. If you don't, I'll end up as, I'll end up indiscriminately killing everyone in this hall. We get to see the other Yakuza bosses here. Like even the Kenpachi Bell guy. We can't possibly. He's right. If the boss becomes an ice team and there's there will be no stopping him, I'm counting on you all. And he smiles, man, looking at him with quite possibly his final words here. Now, uh, now us ex Mio Warigumi will find out just how strong this so-called legend is. Isn't that style obsolete, you geezer? One sword flower style, fiery hairs, holy light, and he goes in and obliterates these individuals in an excellent panel here. Passing right by them, the flames engulfing everyone around them. I'm going to assume these flames are going to be the same uh, color as his hair, which is going to be blue. So that's going to be really cool whenever we get to see that. You know, Odin, I used to always wonder how things would have ended up if you and I had challenged Kaido back when I was in my prime. A prime, Yogoro. But not anymore. Kinemon and the others did a splendid job executing this raid. And I found myself an interesting pro protege. He always sees the king as his protege, bro. Man said, yo, I found an interesting one, dude. Like, I found a reason to live beyond uh, what was happening back in Udon. Like, I found another another spark at life. You know, somebody who's, who, who says the same things that you once said in Odin, man. Like, I found another individual as, as ridiculous and, and as out there as you are. But by God, I believe in him. That's the king, man. An interesting photo, Jay. Now I know the sun will rise on Wano again. Hey, you gotta be kidding me. He'll take out the whole floor if I don't stop him. Damn geezer. And it goes into fire of Ground Ray Sero. Watch out, Queen Sama's beam is incoming. So Queen comes over from the side and is about to fire a Sero down at Hyogoro as he's delivering his amazing words. And the sun will be rising on Wano once more. Phoenix brand. Mark. <laughs> Marco goes in and gores. I'm talking spears 
This man X straight like he's prime edge. I see clearly. You know what I mean? Edge, bro. Prime edge. Phoenix Brand goes in, spears X straight. Or I'm uh, X straight. And never that, man. He spears Queen. Queen goes down, bites down. You see the blood coming. The hurt bastard. Was that some sort of shockwave? I'm your opponent, remember? I just still stress this man Marco's taking on both king and queen, bro. Like, what a goat. Marco, if you want the samurai, you're going to have to kill me first. Marco's too sick. Marco's way too sick, man. Oh, what a persistent wretch. He goes down, fires another settle. Here it goes. Bunch of rubble going all over the place. Here comes king. King goes in, slices Marco's wing. And he goes in to regenerate, he goes up, lands on top of the bridge, fires up the flame, goes back, fires it back at this man king, blue bird. And he sends king flying, bro, let's go, this is the type of meat and action I needed. This is the type of straight up birds going up, y'all know how much I love my birds, man. Y'all back in the Toriko days, Emperor Crow, you know, I love me some birds. So anytime there's an awesome bird ability, we are in there. That's why I was so hyped for the potential Sanji and King matchup. Because I was like, yo, they're going to be flying in the air. We're going to see King going up in like Slumber Pteranodon. But no, nah, man, here. Now we have the true battle of the birds. We have the true battle of the skies, of who will reign in these skies in Onigashima. Now granted, the sky is under the rooftop, but you catch my drift, man. It's all poetry. It's all poetry, you know, man. So right here, under the skies of the dome of Onigashima, we see right here, this man fires up this flame in a really cool panel. I mean, he goes in like he's in Hogwarts or something, dude. I mean, dude's like... Like he's Emma from Cold Steel. Just, goes in, fires up this Rasengan flame. The, the, the thing pops up like a Hadouken. And then he says, Blue Bird and Hadoukens. He Hadoukens. King into the Flagnars, bro. You love to see it. King gets sent all the way back. He looks mad shook. And he has no time, absolutely no time, to even think about a second moment as Marco goes right in front of him. And once again, look, look at that speed. That speed indicates sonic boom levels of speed in my eyes, man. Zoom! Goes right towards King and tells him to get the flying flyers out of there. Queen exits his his uh his dinosaur form as well. Don't get ahead of yourself. He he clenches his teeth. Phoenix, yo, Marco's going ham, dude. Are you kidding me, son? Marco's going ham. Queen clenches his teeth as Marco goes in. And just talo of Phoenix Claw and tells him to get the flag nards out of there. I'm talking straight up. Shawn Michaels. <gasps> Sweet chin music. Not only does he deliver a edge's spear, not only does he go in here and deliver Had Hadoken. But then after all that, he delivers a sweet chin music, bro. Marco is holding his own against two Yonko level or Yonko commander individuals. Like, don't put some respect on Marco the Phoenix, son. Oh, what an awesome panel. He's holding the pose. You see the Phoenix flame going all around. Ah, oh, this is sick. This is sick, dude. You even have the goat right here and Chopper's wife. I mean, yo, you have the goat here. What, what, you know what Oda's trying to represent with this goat? He's like, yo, look at all this goatness happening with this man, Marco, dog. Let's get it. Hurry up, Tanuki. As expected, holding back two foes with a bounties over a billion isn't easy. Yo, dude, this is nasty. You bastard. Well, I'll be. Isn't that Marco over there? He looks pretty worn out. Coo, coo, coo. Don't tell me this man's about to try to interfere in this fight. We see some growls. Everybody's turning back into an ice team, and this time the ice teams will be in as much danger as the rest of us. Do it. This is what I want. These last few moments were like a gift from the heavens anyway. If you let me live any longer, you'll only be endangering yourselves. No, Hyogoro, man. I'll leave the rest to you guys. I, Hyogoro the Flower, no longer have any regrets. And he's like, son, if you're going to do it, go ahead and do it, man. They're about to do it with tears in his eyes, but somebody's going to have to save him. There's no way this is going to be his final moments, man. No break next week. That is the end of the chapter. Man, dude, hold on, bro. This Marco versus King and Queen action was filthy, dog. It was legit filthy. 
Queen is attempting to take out Hyogoro. He sees the threat that's going down down there. He's like, yo, Hyogoro and X Drake are the ultimate tag team right now. They are going in there. They, they're, they're causing a whole bunch of damage. Uh, Hyogoro is motivating the troops with just his existence. I mean, dude, we have to, uh, f um, Queen, knowing the strategic, I should say Queen and King, with the strategic individuals that they are, as much of a fun-loving individual the Queen is, he still has brains. He's like, yo, I gotta go down and be like, listen, let's let's try to take care of this dude uh, while, while things are still uh, are popping off, right? Because if not, it could get to a situation where he does so much damage where it'll become ir irreparable. She's like, all right, man, I want to fire this Grand Racero down here. And he goes in the fire it, and in the middle of firing it, this man Marco comes in, and I'm talking edge style, spears the flagnards out of Queen. Phoenix brand, dude. That hurt, Basil. Was that some sort of shockwave? I'm your opponent, remember? Marco goes in. He says, if you want the samurai, I gotta be dead first, man. I gotta be on the floor. You're gonna have to make sure my pulse is gone. Because until my pulse is gone, I am gonna come back and go up in there like swim more like a phoenix. Because you can't kill me, dog. I'm too nasty for it. Then he goes in and fires another Cero. This man, Marco, says, whoop. He dodges that. King goes in to attack it as well. Marco's way too swift with it. Bluebird, Hadoken, let's go. Then he goes in and continues the onslaught. Not only a Bluebird, he goes in with like sonic boom levels of speed and hits the Flagnars out of him. I can't wait to see that done in the anime. And then Queen, in the middle of that, in the middle of all of that, goes out of the dinosaur state. And Marco says, you dare attempt to approach me while I'm on this run right now sweet chin music any sweet chin music him so hard he sends him flying into the following building marco's too nasty this man marco is way too filthy way too filthy this is the type of marco action that i have been waiting to see man and the fact that we're getting it here in real time is is sick man I, I, the 1000 and one piece are so good and th this stuff in the anime is going to be out of the world especially if they add a couple more additional scenes oh because I can already tell, right now, just based on what we're seeing right here, Queen and King are no match for Marco right now. No match. I mean, dude is toying with him. I mean, granted, he ha he's taking damage. I mean, you clearly see it on his face. But he's holding his own. It's 1v2. And he's holding his own with, I'm talking, he's not only holding his own, he's dealing out damage. My man Queen is out here barely breathing. Look at the blood on his face. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, you know what I mean? But... You know, bro, this man's doing damage. So what this tells me, just based on the damage done to both King and Queen, they're going to be entering hybrid form soon. I, I can almost guarantee it, because we already saw Pteranodon earlier, uh, and then now we got to see more of the Brachiosaurus form. So what's next? We're going to have to see the hybrid form for King and Queen. This is my whole thing. I remember seeing a comment a while back, a while back, uh, during the chapter 1003 uh, reaction. Uh, there was a comment that said, we're not going to see the hybrid form for Kaido until we see everybody else's hybrid form. And I'm in 100% agreement, agreement with that. 110%. And so soon, just based on what's going on here, I don't know if Oda, because my whole thing with where the arc is going that makes it so much fun to read on a weekly basis is that just like with this chapter, I completely expected us to move on to another one of the Strats fights. Right, I really did. I, I, I expected us to go from Robert and Black Maria last week to this week being either Sanji going up and finding his uh, person that he's going to be fighting this arc, regardless of whether that's Jack or King and Queen, whatever that, that was going to end up being, or maybe all three, whatever it was. And then, or we're going to see like Frankie um, Sasaki, we're going to see who's who Jimbe. I was expecting us to jump into one of those for an entire chapter like we did last week. But no. This week, we got to get a little bit more about what's going on around. But not only that, we got to see major Marco versus King and Queen action. So here's the thing. Because I don't know how this act is going to end, I'm going to assume the act ends with hybrid form Kaido. I, I'm sticking with that prediction because that's that's what I've been sticking with for, for a while now. But my main basis for saying that is if the act ends with hybrid form Kaido... I don't know how Oda's going to reveal all these forms. I don't know if he's going to do a chapter 900 and what was it, 998? Uh, wasn't it 98? Whenever um, he gave us 96, 998. It was one of those where we got an entire chapter dedicated to the matchups. 
we saw an entire chapter with like six double page spreads showcasing who everyone's gonna be fighting and and whatnot right like it, it was a really really cool chapter um so are we gonna get a chapter like that except with the hybrid forms so we see everybody's hybrid forms in one chapter or is he gonna reveal them one by one because if he reveals them one by one sweet mother of flagnars man i i am i don't even want to imagine what king and queen are about to look like in their hybrid forms they're gonna look nasty they're gonna look sick man especially king king is gonna look beast in his hybrid form but we need to see because now we're seeing them and we are doing our thing out here everyone is doing their thing out here so with that being said well i don't know what's gonna happen with here with yogoro i don't know what's what ch um uh, chopper is going to be able to do in terms of uh bringing down this virus to a state to where um, you know the uh the thing is bringing down is brought down to a good level to where you know it won't be at risk to anyone either that or, or but at this point even if you take out queen it's not like this is an ability that's that's held by i mean it technically kind of is though so like if you take him out it would be able to but then i'm see that's the thing man. i i feel like chopper would have to i feel like chopper is going to have to bring it down to good levels again right and be able to to go out and mass produce this thing to for of course to heal himself and then for everyone else in the field which he's going to worry about first because it's the type of person he is as a doctor but he's going to have to go out make sure everybody else is good which i'm sure is what's going to lead to hyogoro being good because hyogoro i highly doubt that's going to be hyogoro's final moment there man either somebody's going to come in and save him there or chopper's going to be able to come up with that uh, with, with with some sort of uh, medicine for this situation at just, or, at just the right time. So, based on where that goes, that, that's going to be that. But, regardless of what takes place, King and Queen, I'm pretty sure, are about to enter hybrid form. And if they're about to enter hybrid form, I can safely assume that everybody else is also about to enter their hybrid form soon. Um, which tells me, yo, this is about to be crazy. This is about to be nuts. Like, I would not be surprised if we don't see any more King and Queen until either, um, uh, until either, like I said, I have no idea what Oda has planned in terms of, of these matchups. I don't know. I really do not know if Sanji's going to end up joining Marco later to take on King and Queen, especially in their hybrid states, or if he has them now ready for something else, because look at what, it, it, look, this, this man, this man is such a tease, bro. He states, yo, where am I needed more? Am I needed more with Kinemon and the others? Or am I needed more with Yamato, um, Momo, and Shinobu? And so he's like, yo, Castle Tower or Dome Entrance? And we don't really get to see exactly where it is that he goes off in. And so I'm pretty sure the next time that we see Sanji, it is going to be an extremely epic moment because we as the audience have no idea where it is that he's going. Who can, of course, uh, predict it and whatnot and have theories on it. But regardless, if he goes one way, he's going to be running into Jack. I uh, get yeah, 110% is going to run into Jack. Now, if he goes the other way, I am very, very interested and curious in who he's going to be running into on that end. Because it looks like Yamato and... um, I, I wonder who it is that, that Yamato is going to be and is going to end up running into uh, wherever it is that, that she's going with, with Momonosuke and Shinobu. Because at this point, it's really tough to say. Who they're going to be running into. I'm not sure. But regardless. you know, We'll, we'll have time to think about that later. But. So Sanji's going to either go over there. He's going to head over towards where Kenny and the others are. So. We'll see. I mean. I'm, I I want to say he's going to go to where Kenny and the others are. I really want to say that. But I also want to say he's going to do both. Because now that Sanji's out of the situation. He's going he's gonna to try to do the most he possibly can. So, but if he does both, if he does both, this really, this real deal could lead to a situation where he takes on all three in Jack, King, and Queen. But see, that's what I don't know. Regardless, regardless, I guess, like I said, we'll think about that in a, a later time. So, the next time we see Sanji, it's going to be awesome. We'll get to see the outside of Onigashima for the first time in a while, uh, like I was seeing with um, with Yamato. I'm very curious on uh, what's going to take place with, with them as they continue progressing uh, through the levels and going up. 
uh, really can't wait to see what where where that goes with Yamato Momonosuke and Shinobu because obviously it's going to lead to something very very important uh, to take place very r relatively soon. And in the interest of another issue, this was shocking to me, man. With Perospero and Carrot and their battle ending in Perospero's victory, he defeats Carrot. And then we see later that Perospero goes to join in on the battle, or at least just go on and for now be an observer. But if he attempts to interfere, where he's like, yo, Marco, he, he looks like a, a little vulnerable right now, man. It's might be my chance to be able to take him on, regardless of what Perospero does. The fact that he was able to take out Carrot here in Sulong State, very, very impressive. Very impressive, and it hurt, man. Legit, this was, you know, the heel promo right here. You talk about avenging Pedro, but did you really expect to get a free pass after trespassing our territory? I mean, heel-like tactics and throwing her face down into the ground. And, you know, what it means to be an emperor and, you know, just crazy stuff. And then Hyogoro. Hyogoro and x Drake's tag team as he goes back into his original state. Though it's his, it's his original state, granted with... With the way that he feels now, and he states that he's, you know, exchanging his remaining life force for it, but he's still going in, man, and uh, and you know, seeing him do like this move right here, the fiery hairs, holy light, that was really cool. I'm talking about his proto J and and Luffy, and the Marco versus King and Queen action, which was definitely the highlight. So, I do wonder what's gonna happen now with Hyogoro in terms of of uh, what takes place. I like I said, I highly doubt this swing comes down fully something's gonna have to take place with either chopper uh finally you know cr creating being able to create something that could you know sedate this entire virus for at least a little bit longer right to where they will be able to to continue moving forward and and, and going in either that or somebody else gonna have to come in and, and save yogoro here because i highly i highly doubt man that this is gonna be for yogoro i mean it could be because of his last words here, it really does feel like it could be the case, but but I don't know, man. I feel like he's he, he's see, it's it's a tough thing to say. It really is, but I guess we'll find out. We'll find out next time if we still if if we do still end up staying here in this part of the of the story. Man, there's just so many things. Like, yo, now that I think back to this chapter, there's so many things it's gonna be leading into though because. Like I said, with with where Yamato and Shinobu are going, they're they're gonna have to run into someone that's gonna stop them from progressing forward. And I just wonder if Sanji's gonna be there alongside with him. Then what even happens then? Like, if Sanji is with Yamato, we already know how Sanji is. And yo, <laughs> yo, not only is Sanji seeing Yamato, but that's gonna that's gonna be a highlight in of itself. Sanji finding out that Mom where Momonosuke is hiding. I wonder what his reaction's gonna be to that. So just for the comedy, I do wonder if he's gonna um, go over there to help them out there but at the same time it's like what even happens if he goes over there like do they just take on that obstacle together who even has that obstacle who would that obstacle be but then it's like do they take that obstacle on together does sanji move forward does sanji fight that thing allowing yamato and them to move forward and then defeats that obstacle and then moves on to the with Kinemon and them after he realizes like yo Yamato is extremely strong she could take care of the situation I'm gonna go out and do my thing like what? what what would that even leave it to being or does he just say screw it he goes on to the other side goes to where Kinemon is we get to figure out who the silhouette is and that starts off that entire thing on that end. and then Sanji meets up with, with Jack and that's I have no idea I dude I I don't know like I'm I'm super fascinated and then with this whole spirit, this cannot be the end for Carrot in this arc. Carrot's gonna have to go um, back 100, especially after these words stated to Carrot. Oh man, yo. I can't wait to see her come back later on in this arc. What happens there? I know with Hyogoro. No, 110%, I think the next time we see King and, and Queen, it's gonna be hybrid form. I, I really do. Because we see this is massive. Yo, they are, they are getting whooped right now by Marco. Marco's holding his own, dude. Let's go. But man, and now Pedro Hospital plans on interfering as well. But what's gonna happen to a Hyogoro, man? Yo, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to think about thanks to this week's chapter. And there's no break next week. So really exciting stuff, man. Onigashima just just keeps delivering, dude. 
Yeah, my man Marco is really a lot here. Sweet Chin Music, Spear, and Hadoken. He's nasty. He's nasty, man. And Hyoguro, you know, with his final, with, with what appears to be his final words, but I highly doubt will be his final words. Man, what a chapter. So many things packed into it, dude. It feels like it was like two chapters in one. That's how a lot of these chapters feel, but this one in particular, it just felt like there was, there was a lot, a lot of content in here to, to go back and, and really think about. Especially based on where, where things could possibly go from here. But regardless, man, I'll see y'all next time. For everybody has an awesome, awesome day. Let me know what y'all thought about this week's chapter in the comments section down below. And if you have any thoughts on where Sanji's gonna go, on what happens now with, with Yamato Shinobu and Mobu, and uh, Mobu, Mobu, shout out to Kingdom. Uh, but with Momo and and seeing where exactly they're like who who's gonna be the obstacle that's gonna stand in front of them, right? And and then it's the next time that we see King and Queen the hybrid form time, right? And how impressed you know, Love Boy Marco was going in, man. And of course, um, the Hyogoto stuff as well. You know, if you have anything to say on any of those, I would love to read it in the comments down below. But until next time, man, I'll see y'all. One Piece of greatness. Onigashima's going in. This man Marco's going ham, dude. Let's go, the Phoenix man.